Yeah, this inspiration behind this project is a 34 three window coupe, classic hot rod. I wanted to build something that's kind of unique around those lines. Uh, started with a 36 five window, actually took eight inches out of the top of the car and shortened the car, uh, bobbed it, channeled it, uh, a lot of body modifications. But uh, there's a rough rending of what the thing's supposed to look like when it's done. That kind of uh, got the whole project started. And what I've got now is this project. Uh, the front end, uh, aluminum, obviously, kind of hand-formed aluminum. The deck lid, the front uh, hood is all stock, 36. The side panels are custom aluminum. Uh, just simple little side panels. They probably should have louvers or something put in them. Uh, the top's been chopped two and a quarter inches, windshield frames chopped. Uh, what happened here is eight inches of this top was removed from the original car. So the whole car was sucked up here eight inches to make a uh, three window out of it. Uh, this part of the door is stock to right here. From here back is the stock rear quarter. The door is pretty much complete all the way to this point. Um, it needs to be, this door opening needs to be completed. Uh, this bottom door sill sills in. It uh, goes from one end to the other and it's, it's done. The top, it's all chopped. It's all good, ready to go. The interior uh, is just a stock 36 dash. Kind of interesting, but you can do whatever you want to do with that one. Uh, coming to the back of the car, it's been bobbed. I would say probably a good foot has been taken out of the back of this car. And this panel was custom made. Uh, it's a little rough around this particular area here, but definitely workable. There's a panel that goes under the back here, probably has some louvers under it. As far as the chassis goes, it's a custom chassis, kind of designed around the uh, Corvette, the uh, backbone chassis design, if you would, uh, Volkswagen use the same kind of a single backbone as the base of their chassis. Uh, the rear of the chassis is pretty much complete. Uh, it's two by two tubing. It's uh, hanging a Franklin rear end with kind of a road race setup, a Coleman road race setup, coilovers. Um, the perimeter frame there is an inch and a half by three, 120 wall, rectangular tubing. It's been radius to match the body, it's kind of like a 32 Ford. Uh, it's on, sitting on a frame jig because there's still a lot of chassis work that needs to be done. Uh, the frame jig, you can square it, it's uh, rollable. And it's necessary to finish this project in my estimation anyhow, but basically that's kind of what you get. It uh, has some spare parts. You got a lot of miscellaneous interior parts, uh, moldings, window regulators. I've got a wide five set up for the front, all aluminum wide five Pullman hubs and spindles, all race car stuff that I was going to design a, and have designed an independent front suspension for the car. But it could go independent or straight axle, whatever you'd want to put on the thing to finish it up. But here's the project. It's uh, interesting, never been done before. If you wanted a unique uh, project, this is the one. It's got a four cam 32 Ford, or excuse me, four cam uh, Lincoln motor in it right now. It's just a mock-up. It would take a custom grill, obviously. But uh, it's, it's a good project if somebody wanted to finish it.